What is up my crew, this is CLC here with another uh, video that's going to be completely different from what I'm used to. Well, something that I've done before, but I'm going to do a completely different one. And it's going to be a tutorial. Now, this tutorial is something that I do not... Actually, I have, I have not seen anywhere. That should be somewhere, but apparently people are too lazy to put it up. So today, I'm going to do a tutorial on how to actually add in your own map tile set. Now, I'll show you what I mean. So... I'm going to have a couple links in the description if you want to go check that out. I don't want to open Firefox, thank you. First thing that you want to do is you want to go to wherever you downloaded a link that's in the description called Advanced Map 1.95. Now, what I recommend is you don't have to unzip it. I would leave it like this. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to this. Click on advancedmap.exe. And what I want you to do is just, just go through all these uh, pop-ups to make sure you're in your own language. I'm going to choose English, because why not? I speak English. Now you're going to open your ROM, and you're going to open up your, you know, ROM. <laughs> That's all I can really say about that. Just wait for it to load. Now, what do I mean by, like, tile set? Now, in, you know, a Pokemon game, you got maps and maps are made up of these these are map tiles where they're designed to actually create maps obviously those are called the map blocks this is what i'm looking at the map tile set and as you can see this is you know <clears throat> the tile set for the generic outside areas of hoenn along with the generic outsides of Little Root. Now, if you go to, like, Odell Town. No, that's actually a really bad example. How about we go to... Oh, I got one. Uh, Rust Bro. Now, watch this part over here. See what just happened? It changed because this is a completely different tile set for a different map. Because every map comes with two different tile sets. If only one existed, that would be kind of weird. But you know what? Stuff happens. But if you know... And if you notice, I want you to watch this. This is still the same ROM. Uh, what I did was I actually ported over the... <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> I, I'm really tired. I ported over the Fire Red tile sets to a certain extent. They look exactly the same. I did Pallet Town. I did a little bit of a Viridian City. Yeah, I did all that. And I did it through the, my own method. Now, let's just do a little test. We, I'll admit I did all the outside... Uh, cities, towns, and routes, along with a couple of caves and uh, different areas. What I have not done yet is I have not put in the inside areas, like the houses, like the inside of the houses, inside of certain buildings, inside of gyms and stuff like that. And this is sort of an excuse of how do I do how it's done. So you're gonna go on this. This is the block editor. Click on that now. Now, obviously, just to let you know, if your map looks like this, I don't know what to tell you. It shouldn't. This is actually what I did. You know, it don't have to worry. It won't happen to you. Now, you're going to click on Tile Set, and then you're going to click on Insert New Tile Set. Now, I know there's a tile set on the screen already. Don't worry. That's no big deal. You're going to click on it. Now, this pop-up is going to come up. It's called, it's saying, create a second part tile set. Yes, for first part tile set, press no. Now... This is where things are going to get a little bit complicated, not too complicated, but decently complicated enough where you're just like, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> but in all honesty, it's actually really easy. You noticed how when I compared Little Root and Rustboro, you saw the first giant tile set not change, but the second one changed. That's basically, you know, two parts. The first part is literally a generic tile set where the number is set to the max number depending on what ROM you're using. I'm using Emerald and I think the max is 512 blocks or these little uh, blocks per major tile set. Now the second part tile set can range from 10 to 512 the max. So for this tutorial, just for the fun of it, I'm going to do the first part tile set. I'm, so I'm going to press no. Now right now you're like, oh my god, my, max, my tile set's gone. Oh god, oh jeez. Don't freak out. It's oh, totally fine. So what you can do is don't do anything else. Just hit close. And now it's going to sit 
say save changes on picture slash block slash palette click yes now look what just happened actually before we go on i want to write this down i actually made so this is going to be tile set 12 and if you open up my this you can see that you insert the, the new tile set at number whatever that is the new tile set number that's going to be put in so I'm going to put in 70,458. 70, and it's saved that that offset, it doesn't matter what that offset is. You can change that later. Now, before you do anything, I want you to just click anywhere. Hit save changes. Just fine. I'm not going to do a second part tile set yet. This is just the first part tile set to show you how it's done. Now, once it does that, hit the X button. The reason why I said don't do anything, and I'm not going to change anything. I don't have to do anything. Just close that. That's all you want to do when it comes to advanced map 195 because 195 is completely broken and that's the only thing that really works. I just, the one thing that really pisses me off though, offense, which I'm getting kind of off track, but just to let you know, it's kind of annoying that this program I'm going to open up right now, which is what you should open, which is called advanced map 192, is more stable than a program that's supposed to support more things. I don't understand why edited something like this like something like this already it's just really it's so stupid i don't want to make a tile set i'm the desktop icon i'm gonna go here so once you insert a new tile set don't do anything else you don't have to do anything else it's totally okay but for right now what i want to do is i'm going to input my new tile set i think it was this one right so yeah you can see every all the changes are here now if you notice look at that this is literally the same thing. That is from, look at that. That's from Little Root Town. If you notice that was, if you notice some of those tiles from the Sky Pillar, but if we go to the Sky Pillar, oh, it's just the entrance. Everything still looks the same. Everything's fine. I'm not broke, which is awesome. Now, what are, what's the point of doing this now? Now, if I go here, I go to block, I could load my tile set. Now, Here's the thing that's going to get a little bit more complicated. I'll explain it at the end of the video. You're going to hit this, your tile set 12 for me. Now a block, obviously something will show up like, oh, it's this much, which is fine. Just hit okay. And you're going to get a bunch of offsets, repoint. Now, nothing changed, did it? That's kind of odd. So we're going to load a palette file. Look at that. <laughs> That looks pretty good, right? Yeah, it only loads one, but that's all we really need right now. So we're gonna write current palette changes to wrong. So yeah, it's all that stuff. You don't have to worry about any of that right now. All right, now that's pretty much it. I mean, one thing I will do at the end of the video is I will show you my finished map at the end and uh, I'll just show you how it looks. Now. Here's the thing, you don't have to use fire red tile sets. If you want to use your own, go right ahead, it's fine. But if you want to do that, make things a lot easier, this would be very easy. Now, what did I do with the power set? You can get this through, I think, uh, the program. I'm not too sure which one, but you can actually get your own power set through that. And it's pretty simple. It's actually really fun. Now, while I'm actually... I know the thing is, I'll actually talk and edit this myself, because... This is actually a project I'm doing through um, my newest Emerald thing, which is fun. <laughs> it's fun to a certain extent, but not fun enough to get me too engaged. I'm actually very, very tired right now. Once I'm probably finished showing you what this looks like at the end, just show you what it like feel, what should look like at the end of the your little love uh, at this tutorial. It should be fun. Now, one thing I wanted to mention is, this is basically the end of the video. You don't have to stick around unless you want to hear very in, uh, very important facts when it comes to this sort of thing. Now, when it comes to... Uh, hold on. Okay. Sorry, I'm just looking at this at the same time while doing this. Uh, when it comes to this kind of, you know, conundrum of how to insert them well here's the thing you always want to be careful because the one thing that i did not know and i actually remember doing this on stream is is i literally tried to take the tile set 
of <laughs> I try to take Tasset of the fire straight from fire and put it in emerald but there's a problem you can't do that i didn't know that the reason why is if you look at a tile set i'll you know what i'll turn this on right now let's go to my tile set area so if you notice in my folder i have tile sets emerald new and file tile sets fr i'm gonna use this for a comparison now let's just try did i delete zero on one yeah it doesn't matter i can just use this Let's say, okay, it's a perfect example. I have this. I want to just add this out, and it looks pretty decent. Nothing, nothing real big of a deal. I don't know why people freaking out about it. This is why. Let's try, and uh, I wish I had an example. Oh, you know, screw it. I'll use this one. So, the. This is the tiles at 12, the exact same one to a certain extent, but I want you to notice one big difference. I'll zoom out and, like, and try to make it as even as possible. Watch. See what's happening? You see, this is emerald. That's fire red. You see, Tile sets when it comes to emerald and fire red are completely different from each other. One's going to be from, one from emerald is actually smaller in sort of tile set, but in fire red, it's bigger. But the thing that's really funny is, is that the amount of blocks you can have in, the, in per tile set, if you want to, in emerald could be 512, but in fire red, it's 384, a max 384. So it's kind of interesting seeing how tile sets are different now. I could actually show you that it could be done. Like I just showed you in uh, the, the, I think the Palatine Town of Viridian City map was, this was actually something that people were bringing up. And oh yeah, I was just doing that for right now. Uh, you don't have to worry about that. I'll do it later. If you notice that this is the exact same palette from Fire Red, well, almost the exact same tile. So hell, I'll give you a big example. Uh, let's go to a big one. Lavender Town. Lavender Town, this is all crazy cool. And if you look, it's literally almost the exact same thing. Now, how did I do it? Well, if you notice is that I cut it off and you saw there's another one called 42. This is literally just an extension of tile set 0 or tile set 12. Add on to 42. And if you do that, it shouldn't matter as long as it fits. As long as nothing gets cut off, nothing gets too big. Just don't you know do anything crazy. And hell, what I did was, this is the secondary tile set of the inside. I did this before I did the recording, just in case I want to do the rest of the um, importing of the inside tiles. I just add the rest of it. Where the truth is, the second tile sets of the second part of tile sets in Fire Red are actually really small. So if they would fit really well in this. I'll tell you that right now. Hell, I got a better idea. Oh, wait, I have a better idea. Look. See, this is all the ones I did. These are all from Fire Red. And there are slight, truth is, there are slight differences with them. But you know what? They're minuscule in terms of palette, in terms of all that fun stuff. And hell, some of them even change when it comes to, you know, places. But you know what? It works. And that's all that really matters. And if, yeah, I meant to close now. Actually, do I need it open? Now I need it open. So that's pretty much it for this video. Just make sure that you know how many blocks you need and make sure you know how many like space you need and all that fun stuff. All right. So that's about this. This Oh boy. <laughs> I am losing it. <laughs> that's about be sure to like the video. If you found any of any of this helpful, be sure to comment on whether you did it or not, or you have any, you know, remarks as to what else I could add to this in the description and be sure to subscribe for more. Pokemon videos, and in the future, starting probably next week or the week after, not too sure when it comes to school, I might be doing some WWE videos in terms of my newest series of WWE 2K17 Universe modes. So until next time, my crew, I will see you later. Oh, wait. Oh, my God. I almost forgot. I have to show what the final product looks like. So once you edit the palette of your tile set, you should get something like this. 
So yeah, if you notice, this is the actual tile set in from Fire Red in Emerald. And just for the hell of it, I actually added in the um, second tile set for the uh, inside. This is actually just covered a good portion of the indoor uh, maps. So this is great. So it works. And uh, that's pretty much it for this video. Be sure to, like I said, be sure to like the video if you found any of this interesting or, you know, it helped any at all. Be sure to comment on whether or not, you know, there should be more stuff added. And be sure to subscribe for more interesting videos. So until next time, my crew, I will see you later.